Alright, good morning y'all. We are about to leave the house this morning. Got the boat loaded up, ready to go. Got a little everything set up here. We're gonna go out to the marathon hump, see if we can't find some tuna. We're also gonna look for some weed lines out there. Supposedly there's been a lot of mahi. What's that? Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to his channel, Angler Up a Brant, link down below. He's trying to hit 20,000 subscribers this year, so go show him some love. <laughs> but we got Chris, we got Cruz, we got Buddy somewhere around here, about to take out the Costa. It is a little windier than we were expecting. The Atlantic is right out there. Doesn't look too bad. We'll see though, we'll see. But uh, we're gonna take you along for the ride. Let's go catch the fish. All right, y'all, we stopped by this little grass patch here. Got a glass minnow jig on. I'm gonna see if we got any dolphin hanging around here. There's one. There's yeah. one. Hey, right, come throw over here. They're gonna follow this one up. Nope, that's my mahi. Oh, it is a mahi. It was just very light. That's the smallest one I've ever seen in real life. <laughs> this is what we call a chicken dolphin. Uh, we're gonna figure out the size length first. 20 inches. I need 20 though. All right, Cruz, give me a measurement. Is he scared of him? Kind of. 17, he's 20 too inches. He's a little yeah, short. He's 20 inches. Okay, little chicken dolphin, too small to keep. Good luck, buddy. All right, guys, we just made it out here to the humps. We are in 900 foot of water. On the edge of these humps, it goes down to 1,200. All the way at the top is 500 foot. Uh, so a lot of stuff going on on the bottom right here. Marking some decent stuff on the hill. I think we're going to start out doing a little slow pitch jigging. And uh, we got some stuff to troll as well. There's a few boats out here trolling. Just got out here. haven't seen anybody that's hooked up yet, but uh, Buddy's ready. Chris is already dropping the jig down. See if we can get on some tuna. Let's get after it. All right, y'all, I got a 300 gram Johnny jig here on the slow pitch setup. Send her down, see what happens. All right, we're jigging in 500 foot of water here. Chris has a fish on on the back. See if we can get hooked up here. You got him, Chris. Did you ever hit bottom? No, I got close and then something whacked it. On the fall? Guess I'm gonna drop back down. Y'all are getting hit on the fall. There's color. Oh, there he is. All right, you're a leader. Blackfin. Little blackfin. Nice catch, Chris. Hold on, he's coming up. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> head first. Got him. Chasing it. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. I get it. Nice work, that. Chris. That's a keeper, huh? Oh yeah. Yep. Tuna on ice. Oh, all right, just made it out here to another weed line. Got the tsunami jig on. See if we can find something up in here. Generally, we drive next to it, not on top of it, but do whatever you need. Here, Mr. Mahi Mahi. Try to stay a little further back from it. What do you say? Try to stay a little further back from it. We'll cast to it. Okay. Maybe push in a little bit, hit that one. We'll hit those little things and pop back out here. That looked like a mahi. Oh, yeah, they're over here. Mahi, mahi. Got him, Chris. Mm -hmm. Look at them all. Got one, got one. You know you it, Dad. I don't know. It's a bunch of chickens. Uh, one get the measuring stick. Oh, that one's good. God, they're thick. There's a ton of them. They're thick. Just oh, look at them falling after it. 18 inches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a keeper there. Sorry. They're wild. <laughs> look at all of them. They are thick, dude. Oh, his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another good one. Oh, that looks like a keeper for sure. Ooh, I got a keeper right here. Oh, he's so green. You had one. There's still some bigger ones down there. 
That looks like a little baby one. They are so blue, we get them out of the water and then they turn green. Such a cool fish. See ya, buddy. We still, we still around them? Did we catch two keepers or one? Two. <laughs> That's what a good boat looks like. Oh, there's a big one right there. See him? I know, I'm trying. He's. I don't want that one. Forward a bit. You're right. Still oh, that's a good one. Oh, just kidding. I, another, uh, small one there. I thought I had a good one. He looks a little small. These are such a cool fish, though. Yeah, he's like super light that, looks that looks like a keeper. Is that another keeper? It's close. Uh, Look, it looks like a keeper right here behind him. I'm gonna leave mine in here right oh, quick. Right. You see that one on the right? He looks decent. Try to throw at that one. Look how pretty these fish are. Too small, gotta send them back. They are super fun to catch. Get them, Cruz. Yeah, that's fun, I like that one. Oh, he's jumping. Is he big enough? Look at him, they're so thick. Is this a keeper? I doubt it. This is a little bit bigger. It's like an inch under, but anyway. What do we do? Oh! Is this a keeper? Oh, wow. How bad. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. There he is. Got another one. Oh, I think I got a keeper. Get him, Chris. Hey, Chris, reel in your line. There's a fish. See any big ones down there? Not really. Oh my god. Whoa, he's jumping. Mahi, mahi. That's a bull. Oh, no. That was probably that one might be a keeper there, bro. Oh, that's a bull. <laughs> All right, new grass mat here. See if we got any bigger mahi on it. That last spot was loaded, just a lot of small ones. That is a frigate bird over that other one. The bird's right there. So there's any of this grass here. There's a frigate bird that's flying over the rest of this weed line, so we're just gonna bump up a little bit. We are good. There's something. There's a fish. Any bigger? I can't tell. I was pretty far out there. He looks it's small though. Close. It is a mahi, but it looks small pretty small. Oh, that's the smallest mahi I've ever seen. Look at that little peanut. I take that thing home, put it in an aquarium. Smallest one I've ever seen. Gotta go back. He ate it with the grass on the lure. That was funny. Biggest of the smallest. Pretty, pretty mahi. He's gonna be small. See ya, buddy. We need some big cows. Oh, there's something. It's gonna feel real big when he goes through that grass. It's like a giant now that just got 10 pounds of grass on him. Little baby. You need a hook? A hook? Yeah, what kind of hook? Yeah. 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 Circle hook. What do you need? You guys get them or what? Thank you. No problem. Y'all catching any? Nice. Okay. See anything cool while you're diving? Um, 
Look at my even small. Yeah. yeah. Everything seems to be a little smaller. Thank you so much. Yeah. Are you all seeing them? Uh, he is. You guys, yeah, we have a diver. Yeah. Have a good one. Sweet. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> Or he's just feisty. That's probably one of the best fighting ones I've had. Oh, he's good. Nice legal mahi mahi. You mind taking a picture real quick? Another legal mahi going in the box. Let's see if we can get us a few more. Good to finally find some keepers again. We've been catching a bunch of small ones. We got Cruz over there diving in the water with somebody. 600 foot of water and he's out there snorkeling. Camera roll. Get him, buddy. Camera roll. Get him, buddy. It was real. Uh, we just got tangled twice. Uh oh. We got Cruz. Cruz is helping me. <laughs> Hang on. All right, let's see. Is it going to be a keeper, buddy? He's taking out life. <laughs> <laughs> got that YouTube drag going. Oh, it's a big one. Don't let him whoop you. You got to take a break for a second. Okay. <laughs> All right, Cruz. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fighter! He's a big one! You ever see one jump that high? Look at him. There's all of them right there. I'm helping you guys out. <laughs> okay, give me a second. Hurry up, get there. There you go. Oh, look at that little triple tail. Oh, I foul hooked him. All right, nice catch, buddy. You oh, want you want no, a picture I with it? No, I do not. Take the embarrassment for later. All right, guys, we're about to run in after catching a bunch of those dolphins, mahi mahi, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we're going to do a little catch and cook. Probably do a little bit of swimming in the pool. You ready for the pool? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's been pretty hot out here, so the pool's going to be nice. We got alarms going off on the boat and <laughs> trying to get the anchor up, get everything stored away to head on back. We got a, about a 10 mile run back to the house. I'll catch y'all when we get there. All right, guys, we made it back to the house. We got the boat all cleaned up. Time to clean some of these dolphin. Oh, man. Not a bad size, man. We, we got a tuna in there, too. Chris caught a nice tuna. We, uh, we're hoping to get in some big ones. We, uh, we didn't find any of the giants, but not too shabby. I've not caught a whole lot of dolphin. I caught, um, caught we went out with Brian. With yeah. And uh, this might be the, only the second time I've caught them. Using this Dexter knife here, work our way right down the backbone there. Dolphin or Dorado, Mahi Mahi, whatever you want to call it, is absolutely delicious to eat. I think we might make us some tacos tonight. I think, I think, are you getting bit? Chris is trying to, there's some mango snapper hanging out here. And uh, Chris is trying to catch him one. Maybe you can find him a keeper. Yeah, you're off. There we go. You got him. Whatever. Oh, it's a big nice mangrove. baby mangrove snapper. I thought that they were that size. I really did. You said there were some giants down there. There was one. We've uh we've been seeing quite a few tarpon rolling in this canal, and our neighbor across the way here caught one on a piece of uh, a fillet last go. night. Cruise. And so we're gonna save some of these scraps. See if we can't catch us a tarpon tonight. Y'all comment down below, let me know how good of a cameraman Bran is. Probably not. He didn't, he didn't like to hold it very often. He just kind of like points it wherever and then just Dude. looks away at other stuff. Okay, the GoPro actually films really well and so you don't have to do a whole lot. Well, you still oh gotta... Gosh, dude, there's a white Fred. There's a white Fred. That is a white Fred. Have you, I have never seen a white Fred before. There's a lot of them on Highway 41. Really? Yeah. Bran, uh... Just posted a Highway 41 vid too, so y'all go check that out. Yeah. All right, two nice fillets here. We're just gonna chop the skin off, get uh, the bloodline out, finish cleaning up the rest of the fish. I'll catch y'all in the kitchen. Out here cleaning some fish, and Chris just hooks up on a little tarpon. See if he can land them. Got a little jump out of him. Come on, baby. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Get up here, buddy. Oh. On a little piece of uh, mahi. Hold 
Hold on. Yeah, you're ready, yeah. Throw up the net. That's so cool. Okay. It's on the side of his mouth. He's going to absolutely rape your hand. You want me to grab the end? The tail? Yeah, yeah, All right, y'all. Finally got everything cleaned up. Got the boat clean. We uh, took a little swim in the pool. Had to cool off a little bit. It was super hot out there today. Just got back from the grocery store trying to get everything ready for dinner. Crew's hanging out watching a movie. Caught us. For, was that your first mahi or you caught them before? Oh, you caught the bigger ones, right? Yeah. Crew's caught some nice mahi today. We got all the groceries. Brant, Brant's actually doing something. This is interesting. What are you doing over here? I'm just cutting up the tuna, dude. Nice. We're gonna do a few different dishes. We're gonna do some tacos, some sashimi. Brant's getting that ready. Check out his video for the sashimi, but uh, gonna be a busy night, a lot of food. All right, we got a lot going on in the kitchen here. So we're uh, getting all the mahi ready on the uh, dining room table. We're gonna lay it out here, get it seasoned up, ready for some tacos. Do we need to cook all this? I think this is the mahi in it. No, that's yours. That's your yellow jack. Do we want to save some of this? We got a lot, man. There's no way we're gonna eat all this. Throw it in the fridge. It would be good for like three or four days. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna do about that much. Got some Cajun seasoning here. Make some Cajun mahi tacos. I'll flip it over, season both sides here. Brand's working up on a nice dish over there. I'm gonna be eating like kings tonight. Got all the fish seasoned up. We're gonna heat up a pan. Just do it in some, uh, a little bit of butter, a little bit of garlic, and it is gonna be delicious. We got a pan full of butter. Probably a little too much butter for Buddy, but we're, uh, we're doing it anyways. We got all our fish right here seasoned up. Bam! Gonna cook it up right here in the pan, make some tacos. This is gonna be absolutely amazing. I haven't had mahi mahi in a while. I don't even know the last time. The question is how many tacos time you caught it with me and Brian? I know that was that was sometime last summer. Yeah. How many tacos are you gonna eat, Brad? Uh two. No. Seven? Two. Five. How many are you gonna eat? Your cousin, your, all, all your fans wanna see you eat six. All right, I'll eat six tacos. Six tacos. How many are you eating? Well, watching you study. All right. I'm holding you to that. Six. Do six it, for, it do is. It for your fans. <laughs> six tacos, six tacos. All right, y'all, our fish is ready. We're warming up some tortillas here with a little bit of cheese on them. <laughs> We're not gonna lose weight tonight. Just preface that. Just don't burn it. This is looking absolutely delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and make a plate real quick. We gotta open up our quesadilla. Take a little bit of that. We're gonna get in here with a little bit of mahi mahi. Don't worry about a fork or nothing, just go straight for it. I don't know, did we buy any sour cream? We didn't buy sour cream. All right, we didn't do sour cream. We got some taco sauce. We got a little bit of avocado here. Mmm. We got a little bit of diced jalapeno we're gonna hit on there as well. How did we forget sour cream? Do you not eat sour cream? No. Nope. You don't? No, that's why we got the creamy sriracha. Ah! <laughs> I just got third degree burn. On accident, in love. All right, so we did uh, sriracha instead of sour cream. So we'll hit a little bit of that. Bingo, bango. Come on, hold up. Mm -hmm. All right, we got mahi, hot sauce, avocado, jalapeno, all the good stuff. Cheers. Mmm. How is it? One through 10, what do you rate it? 10. That is so freaking good. Is it good? It's amazing. Uh, okay. <laughs> Put it on there. 
Dude, I haven't had mahi since last time I caught it with Brant. This is so freaking good. You like it? It's amazing. I could just eat this every day. All right, Cruz, what do you think about the tacos? I think it's amazing. I yeah. had some of that, this right there, that tuna, or whatever it is. Well, tuna poke, pokey, whatever you want to so call it. Good. I should mix in a bunch of stuff, rice, cheese, everything. It's amazing. Ten. That's the way to do it, man. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, Chris. Your shot at the taco. Mm. Y'all see what you think about the mahi. Oh, you put a little rice in your taco, too. Mahi is always good. So good. Especially when it's fresh. Oh, yeah. I mean, we caught it like four hours ago. It smells so good. Now is the time. Even back home in Alabama, we do get some mahi. And uh, if you just go offshore and chase those weed lines, you're going to have a good opportunity at it. So if you're heading offshore, make sure you stop and uh, give a shot. The, those glass minnow jigs work really well. Uh, where you can troll, you can throw out a little piece of cut bait, something like that. Usually if you get them fired up, they're going to eat. Buddy, it's time for you to eat. Oh, let's go. I just love... Uh, Life is red. Life is rad. <laughs> Hanging out with you guys is even better. <laughs> All right, buddy getting his taco ready. Mm. There's been a lot of moaning this past week. <laughs> don't, don't we all? Am I the only one? <laughs> Moaning's good. You like it? Sometimes you just gotta be honest with yourself. Mm. Mm. Well guys, we just had an amazing dinner eating some fresh mahi mahi. Have not had it in a long time. We're gonna hang out here on the dock for a little bit this evening. Try to see if we can't catch some tarpon. If you wanna see that, make sure you check out Brand's video. I'm gonna wrap it up here for the night. Um, we might uh, hang out here in the pool. Just trying to take it easy. We got some storms coming in tomorrow, so might not be able to fish tomorrow. We're gonna hang out, edit it a little bit. If we catch a fish tonight, will you please record it? Yeah, anything we catch tonight is gonna be on Brand's video. Okay. We're switching over. So, We're now anger up at Brand. So if you don't see anything on Brand's <laughs> channel, just realize it's his fault. Nothing. It's his fault. Okay. But uh, there's been a lot of tarpon rolling. These guys just caught some tarpon. Chris caught a tarpon earlier, so uh, I think we definitely got an opportunity. They come through here and they eat a lot of the scraps from guys cleaning fish. And so I think we can make it happen. Cruz, have you ever caught a tarpon? I have never. All right, tonight's tonight. Cruz is going to catch a tarpon tonight. Angle up a brant. Let's go. Oh, 